What's going on guys? Welcome back to another exciting family week in Ghana. If this is the first time seeing me, my name is Charles Enchi. I'm a task consultant and I'm passionate about family. And here on this channel, we talk about family in Ghana. So today, I'm in the Volta region. This is actually my first time in the Volta region. Precisely, I'm in Adidome, uh, inside the central town constituency. I'm here to visit the farm of uh, J JF Farms, where we look at pig farming. He has a lot of different types of farm, from pig farming to cassava, to ducks and a whole lot. So that's a form like some type of uh, mixed farming here on his farm. I have to pay a visit to him. He has an inspiring story for us um, to come and look at, for us to really learn about, to be inspired to get into farming. Maybe if you've given up hope as to what to do, I believe this video will be something inspirational for you that you get to learn from. So yeah, before you get into the video, make sure you hit the red button to subscribe, put your notification on to get regular updates as I when I drop a new video. And please, Drop a thumbs up onto the video. So I'm actually close to his house, so Jenna has to go and pay a visit to him and get started in the video. Chama, Shara. Hey, what's up? What's up? Welcome to Adidome. Thank, thanks, thanks. Okay. Today is actually my first time in the Volta region. Oh, wonderful. And I must say, I, I'm enjoying it. Enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, I've never been here before for my, I don't know how many years now, but I'm actually here in the Volta region. Yeah, so um, let's get started into the video and look at what you do. And so, so I'll please, we say Wizo. Weasel. Weasel. Oh, okay. Uh, How do I respond? Uh, you say Weasel, you say you will miss it. You will miss it. Akpe. Akpe. Okay, Akpe will be fine. Akpe. Uh, Akpe. So Weasel, you're welcome. Yes, Akpe. Yeah. Akpe. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into the video. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Tundelani Raw Farms Limited, the home of farming and processing of farm produce into high quality food product. We produce food with 100% care. We have 1,200 acres of land available for you. These are land that do not have any known government acquisition or any family conflicts surrounding them. We would give you your contract of sale once you purchase the land. You also have the land survey documents and the land allocation. Then we have the certificate of occupancy document, which is popularly called the CFO. While the paperwork process is going on, you can begin cultivation on your land. We look forward to hearing from you. We look forward to serving you. Thank you. So um, I'm currently here with the Aigbe farmer. <laughs> That's the name I know. Uh, on Twitter, I also do him as SSS Promotions. Yeah. I have to find out um, what your actual name is. For my viewers, for those who are watching me, if you don't know me, my name is Charles MP. Um, please, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Shadrach Selali Sheung Kobna Ugan. Oh, okay. So that's the spelling the SSS. Yes. So oh, okay. Shadrach Selali Sheung SSS. Uh, then my surname is Ugan. Ugan. W U G A H. Okay. Then okay. Kobna is my day born name. Kobna. Oh, it's your Tuesday, right? I'm a Tuesday born. Yeah, I'm also a Tuesday born. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a Tuesday born. Okay. okay. So, um, let us know, um, how, how, Let's go back to school about starting the whole farming and stuff. Is it that you started, began uh, studying it in school or how, how has the journey been? Um, it started when I was born in Nigeria. Oh, okay. So we initially came to Ghana in 2004. We came to Ho. My mom brought us to Ho and I developed the love for backyard farming. Sure. So we used to plant beans and we used to have our cats keep them and take care of them. So At home. I say that is where it all began. Then vacations, I come to my hometown, which is not far from where we are right now. Okay. Mafkumasi is a little about 10 kilometers from here. Yes, I wanted to find out. So the Kumasi, is it a normal Kumasi we know or is a Kumasi in water region? Yes, we have Mafi Kumasi. Oh, it okay. ends with an E. K U M P S E, not S R. Because when they come in, they say Kumasi. They ask, ah, yeah, there's a Kumasi car here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah, nice. Kumasi, Kumasi. Yeah, that's where my hometown is. So when I come during the vacations, holidays, they take us to the farm. And at that time, I didn't have the passion for it. I was doing it because like a chore. Okay. But after university, um, there was no job. Then COVID hit. 
then my uncle whose land the farm is currently on yeah. just got up the idea and then you began so looking at school um where, where did you attend uh, school because you showed me your shs at the dome yes at the dome senior high school that's my shs but you enjoy it so from here or from going there it's not that far it's not far i can pass there's a road just here yeah just walk out walk out walk and just go there it's not that far it's not that far okay then from there went to um university of professional studies okay so you know, I, I saw his tweet about he selling uh partially used to be <laughs> BSc marketing. Oh, <laughs> Isn't that now you've like you've tried a degree away now, not using it at all and um, following what you love to do? For those who know me on a personal level, they know I'm a very realistic person. Yeah. I'm very honest with whatever I say. I don't in honesty, I don't see the use. I the knowledge has been helpful, helpful. in yeah. what I'm doing in a lot of ways. But the certificate itself is not doing anything for me. Mm. And I know a lot of people who have been to school, university, some are doing masters, done with their masters, and getting jobs. And it's it's quite tiring and annoying, very emotional. Yeah, actually, the unemployment yeah. issue in Ghana is crazy. Yeah, it's very emotional. Yeah, so that's one of my vibes, actually. One of my vibes. If I look at the tongue eclave we have north tongue center tongue and south tongue okay the three constituencies put together or the three districts put together there's a lot of things going on that i really want to change in the future so that's my drive that's one of my drives okay okay so you're using like changing some of these things through the agric you do yes yeah there are a lot of opportunities here if Maybe after this, we will take it through some, some of them. Then you see, there are a lot of opportunities here. The ones are just wasting away. Yeah, actually, when I was coming, I was even telling my guy that here there used to be like a whole lot of farm, like lands are like available a lot here. But it's like maybe people are not making use goodies of it. Well, yeah, well, it's not about people are not making good use of it. Sometimes it has to do with the land tenure system here. Mm getting lands uh it's not that easy even yesterday when i came i was making some moves for some lands it's 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 a work in progress i think as we are developing as people uh things, things will change yeah and just gradually uh, things will take shape so let, let me know so what what would you say is your perspective of farming oh. how do you see farming what's your perspective about it mm. Is something for people who are patient. Okay. It's for the patient. If you're patient, you reap a lot. But if you want to make quick money, I won't advise you to go into farming. There are other types of farming you can do that will get you the quick money, yes. But you have to be really very patient unless you give up. You give up. Yeah. And it's an avenue to make money and it can create tons of jobs. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for jobs. Yeah. And it's that okay. that's that's the agenda that we are on. Mm -hmm. To make sure people see the the positive aspects. Because in Africa, mostly we see farmers to be poor. It's not for, for the aged people, the youth are not mostly involved in it. People are looking at different avenues and stuff. They get rich quick mm -hmm. angle. You see, it's all about perception. It's up here. Yeah. It's all about perception. Um if you take the average farmer and you take their qualification, most of them haven't been to school. Yeah. It's nowadays that you find teachers, because I'm a teacher also, you find okay. teachers and those who work really going into it. And it's capital intensive. Nobody should receive it, yeah. but it's capital intensive. And getting the capital is an issue. Yeah. Getting the capital is a big issue. So it discourages people from getting into from getting into it in this at this level. You see, how many people in this locality can get four thousand cities? Five thousand cities. It's like it's a farm. It's, it's difficult for a young guy out of school. Where would you get that? Your allowance is five five nine. That's not serious. So how would you get the amount of money to start? Yeah. And all those factors put together contribute to it. And that perception that farming is for poor people also plays into that. 
sometimes with the same. I remember when I started this, the first picture I took, I posted it on my WhatsApp status. Someone was like, hey, you, dear, you don't like money. <laughs> uh, from Ukrainian students, you leave school, you say you're teaching, now you're farming. You don't like money. You have to apply your brains. You're a brilliant guy. I was like, the person should give me some years. I screenshotted that particular this thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, I formatted my phone, so I lost it. I wanted to show her, like now, show her that. Like, see, see where you are. I know where she is now. <laughs> see where I am. <laughs> things have changed. I've not achieved much. Yeah. But things are improving. I can't say that things are not improving. Things are improving. I want to really do stuff for the environment. The environment. Yeah. 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 At least once you are here, I know mostly most one thing about the Botarians is that when you guys make it, you tend to come back to develop your own uh, vicinity to make sure things revive, yeah. Yeah. which is a good thing. I really, if there's one beautiful thing about us as Aries. We 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 are like a family. Yeah. There are a lot of people on Twitter that I, I got to know through Twitter who are just. They just retweet your stuff because you're one of you're them. One of them. And yeah. that, that's actually taking me to places to meet people, to share ideas about how to develop. Uh, two, two months ago, I met Ide uh, Bolabed, Serum. Serum, yeah, yeah. yeah. At home, we had a nice we had discussion. Training, discussion. It took almost two hours, just sitting down, talking about Ide. I'm even planning to go to his place. Sure, so, sure. He just bond, and it's good. It's good, but the money has to come. If the money from the at the top doesn't come down, it's a very serious. We can't do anything. Now and then, but once once the movement in that it has begun, definitely with time it will get there. Yes, yes, yes. it will get there. I'm very hopeful. I'm hopeful. That's when I'm positive. So yeah, I'm very positive about stuff. Sure, sure. So um, let's look at what type of farm. What, what type of farm do you do? What are you into? Um, pigs, ducks. You can see the ducks. Yeah, around. there are ducks around. Ducks. We used to do grass cutter, we destroyed it. Okay. Goats, but we have sold them off for various reasons we'll discuss later. Sure. And then cassava. So we have two cassava farms. We have a four acre at Achenfo, and then we have two acre just here. Okay. That is also right. Is they're ready to have it. Yeah, yeah I think they're telling me this morning. So that's nice. So um looking at the amount like starting because said as you, you said it's capital intensive how much would you say you you started your farm with or which and which one did you start with we started with the uh, first off we had what well, we is a partnership okay the partnership my uncle and i we started with what we called experimental farms okay. so a few meters away from here we had um we just tried our hands on corn and this place this this, yeah. this place here yeah. was a mini farm. We just planted different things here, cocoa yam, cassava. Just planted wow. to see how the soil would oh, respond to it. Respond to it. Yeah. So that was that was it. We started with that in twenty twenty, early twenty twenty. Then we started the pig farm. So we say the major main thing was the pig farm. Oh, the pig farm. Yeah, it was a wooden structure. It's just it was behind us. If you can. Look oh. behind, you see the wood there. Sure. So we started with the big farm. And at that time, you see, when you're starting, I always say this wherever I go, you try to reduce your cost as much as possible. Mm. So that when you are incurring a loss, you don't feel it. Sure. Just in case things go south. Yeah. In yeah. Good business. Try to reduce your cost of starting. Sure, like the beginning. At the beginning. So we started with wooden structures. So the wood, you just when you can see behind us is a bush. Bush, yeah. So you behind, you cut the sticks down, then you bought some wood that you use for the main roofing, and we did it. So everything was around for the structure was around two thousand. Two thousand, okay. Yes, and you can see structures around. So we yeah. just fetch the sand, buy cement, then we did it. So, oh, so the structure you guys mostly built most of the things ourselves. Yeah, we did it ourselves. Okay, we did it ourselves. Okay. My family and my cousins are so supported and stuff. The land is for my uncle, so all those costs. So with my business, all those costs are not part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For somebody who is starting, starting you fresh. have to factor that in. Into it. The cost of the land, the labor to build, mm. the price of the, the wood and all those things. And there are different structures you can build. 
Okay. For okay. a big fun. Sure. Uh, defense practice. Everyone in the dimension. How do you go about it? Yes. Okay, I think we'll do a separate video where we look at how to go about the body, your own structure, yeah. the cost involved, and everything. Yeah. So four thousand was enough. To four thousand. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And would you say is it, it has it been profitable? Is it profitable doing pick farming? Yeah. yeah. It was a wooden structure. You know, we have blocks. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is profitable. It's profitable. <laughs> if you compare the cost you incur on a monthly basis, just oppose that against the sales you make. It's profitable. Profitable. Yeah. Okay, so let, let's look at some cost benefit analysis here. Because people watching us, they would also want to start some a uh, pig farm, but they want to know how. So let's see how much does normally the pig go for? Supposing you are selling it. Uh, looking at if how, we are selling amongst ourselves as farmers, yeah, mostly we use sightseeing. Okay. Okay. I see the pig. I just picture it in my head. Okay, this pig, five hundred cities. But if I'm selling to somebody outside my domain, yeah. you have to weigh it. Okay. So a pig, when you weigh the pig, if the pig is 60 kg, as you mean, mm. you multiply that by 13 cities. Oh, okay. If you're an outsider, 13 cities. If you're a farmer, 12 cities. Sure. So sure. because you have to give yourself that relationship between yourself as farmers. So 13 cities times 60, then you sell, you sell get the a price. price. Okay. So that's okay. how we get the price. In terms of cost, now oh. it depends on the amount of animals you have. Mm. So for we have thirty-three pigs and piglets so far. For yeah. now. For now. As at right now, thirty-three. We are averaging about between five hundred to thousand cities a month. Okay. On feed. Of, wow. Yes. I think most of, most of the animal uh, farming, mostly the main cost has to do with feed. And yeah. even with now, uh, prices of feed have increased, so you can just imagine the cost. <laughs> Two years ago, when we started, it was 10 for Wow, and it's a not bag of, Because we have a variety of feed, so let yeah. me be specific. Wheat brand was 23 cities, 22 cities. As at the beginning of this year, it was 35 cities. We are in April, April 29th. 29th. No, today is 30th. 30th, yeah. 30th yeah. Today is 50 Ghana. <laughs> Prices keep increasing. I so think I made a video Ghana. once explaining why um, even eggs prices have increased I've, and poultry bears yeah. have increased. And it's, it's like a cut across board. It's, it's crazy sometimes. So we also, maybe when we get into the details of the business, mm -hmm. we look, we'll at, look at how that we are surviving. And, not yet. Okay. The terms of cost it's relatively good because if you look at that cost, 500 cities, let's take 500 cities every month for 12 months, that's 6,000 cities, 33 pigs. 6, in 12 by... months. Yeah. Would we, in 12 months, if you're looking at it, each will go for at least 450 cities or 500 cities. Wow. So 450 by that amount. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Exactly. And how, how would you see what's the life cycle of the pig? How much I thought you do say this pig is mature to be sold? Well, it depends on the reason for selling or buying. Okay. So some buy to consume, some buy to wear. Okay. So if you are wearing, if you want to wear, maybe I remember when I was starting, I went to a man. Is at a town nearby and I went to buy. I bought the six month old pigs because I wanted to get myself up because this is the first time I'm going into this. So yeah. I wanted to get a quick get to the pigs. Sure. So I bought three six month old, three females. Then we bought a big one, a very matured one with its piglets. Oh, okay. Okay. Then we bought one. That one was just a normal pig ready to be crossed okay all those just to see how to go about things but if you are coming to buy for 18 nine months six to nine months pig should be, should be okay for okay you. for you to eat so from six months they are mature to be eaten okay but they are not mature to cross when they are nine months you can you cross, can cross. Them. Okay. okay okay and there are other little technicalities that go into that that's okay. my uncle versus sure Sure. So um, I think when we get to the farm, we'll look at some of these technicalities. Yeah. We'll get more knowledge about it. So those watching us who want to also start 
can also get to know yeah some of this information yeah. that's fine that's fine so um now that you're doing the so the cassava farm too how much did it did the cost start in it um if, well for farming i always say when i'm speaking i always say that your capital is not the money you put into the business yeah. start with because okay. farming is something continuous exactly so every month and the demands so four acres let's take the main four, four. acres or five acres times 200 cities for the land we lease the land mm. that's thousand cities then whoever is going to plow the land will take the same amount or even more depending on the topography of the land sure. to plow to do it. so that's 250 times four that's thousand that's two thousand then the cassava stems when you go for them sometimes it. you buy for me i got it free okay so free let's assume free then the transportation hundreds of this thirty thousand one hundred fertilizer investments okay. so roughly three thousand three thousand to, to get your own cassava yeah. from started for it is okay okay and now how the business been like mm. well we are now going to see whether they have done well so, okay so you began that one no long ago there are two aspects of the cassava farm we had the one was part of the initial experimental farm that's okay. the one not too far away from here sure and the main one here that one also has two aspects we started one during the last year around august right? and we started one around november yeah so the one we started around august is ready okay but the one around october that's the one i'm mostly standing in is there it's, we'll harvest and see what we can how it will go but the fact of the matter is nothing is going to deter me so whether profit or not is part yeah, of the business it. as i said yesterday i was still trying to apply yeah so, expand, anyway, the yeah, expand the business, expand the business so. okay okay so i think with the cassava farm to have um you talked about the sticks using the sticks and stuff mm -hmm. I have some other ways of growing the cassava oh, that makes you grow quite faster. Oh, really? Yes, you can, my viewers, maybe those who are watching, watching me who have watched that video will know. So, you we will talk about it when you get to the cassava farm. So, we share more knowledge on that. Okay. But if you don't watch that video, too, I'll link the link of the video up here so you can check it out okay. on the channel. Yeah. So, as you said, there's nothing going to stop you from doing stopping like farming for now. Well, except I die. <laughs> and I'm not done in time soon. Sure. I'll try to my dreams. The dream is actually to build a cassava factory. Okay. For the three constituencies. Yes. To process gari, condo, cassava do. People even make drinks from the cassava. Yeah, there's a company here. Volo. At um, Okujato's constituency. Uh, constituency. North Tong is just around here. Yeah. Yeah. So the the ones we are going to harvest today, we are going to send them there. But because of the rain, we couldn't. So probably tomorrow, tomorrow. we we'll do that before we pack up. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. So the the goal is to at least, as you said, mainly to develop, help develop the community. You see, this whole thing is a chain. You see, these animals, the 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 pigs, yeah. the goats, the sheep, they all feed on similar stuff. Cassava peels. Yeah. And maybe, as I said, when we get into the video, you see. So the cassava from here can provide us food to the animals. Here. And the food also can be used for other things. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole value chain on its own yeah. that yeah. we don't like exploit in this country. Mixed farming, kind of. Yeah. So the idea basically is to expand this, expand that, whatever we get from there, the materials we don't use for human consumption, the channel yeah. then here. That's fine. That's fine. And it's to help reduce even your cost of feeding. Yes. For the uh, animals and stuff. Even this morning, check this, this thing here. We use cassava um, leaves to feed them. And they consume it, right? Yes, they consume. They consume everything except some stuff. Stuff that they don't use. Okay. 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 That's fine. So definitely, as time goes on, the expansion they will do. This okay. The truth is, this place is actually a temporary place for them again. Okay, we move the them main to... farm is two or three buildings. The How one is that? there. So this is going to be something similar to this. Oh, okay. For students. 
then we move them to the main farm where we are going to have poultry, the pigs. It's the it's a whole plan on its own. Yeah. So at least answer my question. I wanted to ask you so what other things do you intend adding on wow. as time goes on? Initially we had a plan for when we get into the building, you see it. The first pen is supposed to be a tilapia pond. Oh nice. Yeah. But there was some difficulties and some business issues which are is very difficult to talk about. Okay. So we just put it on hold for now. So fish, the pond will come, definitely. So definitely fish farming. Rabbits. Rabbit. As for the rabbits, I have a lot of friends. So oh, do rabbits, yeah. Leslie and Squad all yeah. do rabbits. Okay. Yeah. So I've taken my mind off that. Okay. Uh, we've done the grass cutter again. Sure. The grass cutter. I'll, I'll, I'll have time to get here. I don't have time here, so that's why. The grass cutter. Then Teki. Oh, Teki. Yeah. Guinea fowl. And I'll make the ducks better. Okay. Unless you improve upon the numbers you have. Yeah. Oh, we're having numbers. We saw them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. During the Christmas, January. festive season, yeah. And I gave most, we gave most out as Christmas gifts. So okay. Just to put smaller people's faces. <laughs> I like that. Just to put smaller people's faces. So, um, if you've not watched my video on duck farming, too, you can check it out. I interviewed a duck farmer. He taught us a lot about duck farming, what you're supposed to know, and all of that. So, yeah, I also like that. So, you're supposed to also check it out. That's fine. So, um, as you said, but you said you're not busy in Accra. Yeah, yeah. You normally come here to come and supervise things. Yeah. Most of the time. Every two weeks. Every two weeks. Okay. okay. At most. A month or a year once. At most. At most. Yeah. Okay. Depending on how things are going. Mm. So, you have to sometimes. This is capital intensive, so you have to always balance things. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. So what, what are some of the challenges that you face um, running the whole thing from the cassava to the pig farm and all of that? What do you see are some of the main challenges? Um, that farm is different from this one. So I okay. don't like associating that one to the this. challenges for that because they are quite different. Okay, so let's look at the pig the farm, pig the farm. challenges. Feed. Mm. That's a major major challenge. The cost involved in it. The cost is you know, how is it? It's what a man do. <laughs> you see when something's available, even if it's hundred series, it's easy to get it. get your way around it. But if I tell you the journeys we go to get the feed to get the feed to go. Wow, just to buy the feed. Aflo is not the far. Aflo is two hours from here. Oh, okay. Which I was 13 minutes from here. It's stressful. Sometimes mm. you have to go as far as KJB. Yeah, I've had a KJB before to get free. And you see, you can't give them the same food continuously. Yeah, actually, right. It's the stuff. Yeah. Actually, the wheat brand, getting it is hell. Mm. Yeah. It's hell. There are, I think the only two companies that produce that in Ghana. No, one okay. is Atema and one is Attack Ready. So whenever there's a problem with any of them, supply becomes difficult. Supply becomes difficult. So you have to start going on rounds to, to go. And my uncle does most. That is why I'm always grateful to him. He does most. And he's a supporter. Yeah. Oh, he's a very amazing. Man. He's not around. He went to donate blood, so he's not here right now. Oh, okay. So he's an amazing human being. Yeah, I wish maybe after I'm going, maybe he would come and yeah, come and join us. Come on, so. It's, it's very amazing. It does all the dirty work, everything. It's supporting Sometimes the business. My younger brother lives or comes around. To so support. Yeah. My sister, she's she's the main. I call her the owner of the business. So she's <laughs> the one who always cleans, supervises the whole place, and does everything. The place, so. Okay, Ali. So family has been supportive. Yeah, I have an amazing family. So, how many uncles will allow you to do this on your life? Yeah. And if there's no envy. Very supportive. Any issue, even if I remember um, one of the pigs gave it us on the 18th. And two days oh, later, this one, right? yeah. two days later, one died. He called me immediately to inform me that this was happening. Mm -hmm. And in this business, trust is very important. Very important. Mm -hmm. So imagine I came, you called me, you told me it has been better to 12. I meet 11. So that's one person. not told me anything. Yeah. Or taxi. I got it. Distrust starts coming in, and then people realize it's complete. 
we are playing with everything. Even this evening, we have a meeting on the business. We should know what to do when we take those steps. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Family is very supportive yeah. because you don't get it anywhere. Hardly do people family even come on board, even help them yeah. with what they are doing or their vision. The family is yeah, it's very supportive. If not for him, that particular challenge, the problem, big problem, and then the vets. I don't know whether it's here or I cut across board. I cut across board. They are not serious. <sighs> They don't really come around to you. There are animals there. They are supposed to inject them for almost a week now. I'm not, I saw him yesterday night. We spoke to him. He will come. He's almost four o'clock or three o'clock. He's not here. So you have to take the initiative yourself. Mm. And, do it. and this thing, sometimes they need expertise. Yeah, for to handle for them. Certain things. It's not everything that because you're from my from my big you know, Sometimes you need expertise to, to, to do certain things. He's, He's the one who said, oh, okay, that's so, nice. We need the expertise, so that's, that's it. That's it. So that's my uncle. the one who is taking care of the, the whole thing for us. Okay. So we'll see him maybe as we go and look at the farm. He'll join us yeah, he'll join for us. the whole thing. So let's, let's, let's wrap up. So, um, you know, unemployment issues like the main thing now, yeah. as he said. You've abandoned yours and you are following what you like, what you enjoy doing. Oh, I teach. You teach I'm as well, too. Okay. I teach at pop school. So that's what you do in Accra, right? Yes. Okay. I teach. And uh, I'm a researcher. I research. Sure. I do research. And I help students also to do their research. So that's the way I survive. Aside good. the farm. Yeah, yeah. the farm. So can. And uh, as for me, I do everything. <laughs> oh, weather. Oh, weather. Yeah, you're listening every every aspect. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, what advice will you give maybe other colleagues who are down with school, um, looking for jobs and are not getting jobs to do? Any um advice? We are Greek. Uh, it's not easy. They take a step. Mm. That's all I can say. Because if I told you two years ago, I pictured myself. With this number of picks, yep, or having some of the things I have, which most of them I don't want. <laughs> I don't want eyes on this. Yeah, it's it's this business has given us an abubuya, mm. which is working for the farm, but it's also a different business on its own. It's giving us a lot of things. At least sort out some issues. I, mean, yeah. I don't struggle. If I'm broke, I'm a human being, I can go broke. Exactly. Just make it. Last two weeks, I was broke. I had some difficulties with the business that went south. Yeah, I was going, I just made a call here. They sold two of them, you know, sent me the money. Cash. And I'm okay. At least I'll be okay for the next one month. Exactly, exactly. So, it's, it's, so having a side business helps when you're stuck. So, just, advantage. just take the step. It doesn't matter. And, if you don't have the capital, the other businesses love it. It doesn't take a lot. Less, yeah, yeah. 300 cities, 400 cities, you can start. Then you have it. You can start. Gas cutter. Gas cutter takes longer. Time, yeah, yeah, for them so, to mature. That's what it is. Very nice business. Snail. One month. Yeah, it's only snail too. Snail. Even ducks. You'd be surprised. These ducks, we are just not really focused on them. We're focused on this. We want to be focused. When we were focused on them last year, they did very well. Very well. Almost 50 here. Wow. That is still uh, so, That's nice. That's nice. It's nice. a nice business. Just focus. Look at the cheapest option in terms of agric. Start with it. Build gradually. Everything is a step at a time. We rush. That's what I'm going to say about the Ghanaian attitude. Okay. We rush. We want to eat more than more soon. See, it's everything step by step. You don't become a damn wealthy overnight. It takes a exactly. lot. It takes a lot of years of hard work, sacrifices, dedication, and sacrifices. Because if I look at myself, I live here. I live at class sometimes on a Friday around four, five to come here. I'll get here at eleven in the night. Monday dawn, two a.m. Left on my way to Accra. Four a.m. I'm in Accra. By five, I'm dressing up to work. Nights of not sleeping, it takes a lot. 
So just be patient. Patience, patience is the anthem. Just be patient. Work your way around it. Get support. Get support. I there's a reason why I always tweet about this thing. This gave me one of my sponsors. Oh nice. I randomly he sent me thousands of this. Oh yeah. Just you just saw that this thing sent me. Oh to support the business. Um how many pigs do you want to buy? I told him. So how much is one? I told him the price. So, okay. He sent me thousands. I thought he was joking. He was outside the country. <laughs> I actually thought he was joking. So I was thinking when I saw that alert. I think I continue to thank him every day. And he said he wants to be anonymous. So I can't mention, mention his name. name. You see, when you take a step, people to support. But when you sit back, people look at you. That's how it is. That's how it is. And my boss, Mr. Cyril, is also very helpful. He talks to me. That's my mentor. So I always look up to him. And he is on the loop, so you never know that yeah. into these steps. So that's, 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 that's it. Just be patient. Patience is everything. Okay, okay. So um, I think we'll wrap up the video here. Um, for those watching us, if you also want to help support the business too, you can reach out to him. I would uh, put his contact in the description side, so you reach out to him. It's really doing well. The vision too looks like, looks big. He's not looking at himself, also looking at helping the community as well. So um, we'll end the video here. The next video, we'll look at the pig farm. We'll look at how the business is. If you want to start, some of the things you're supposed to know in starting a pig farm. So yeah, um, make sure you hit the button to subscribe. Put your notification on to get regular updates as I when I drop a new video. And please, drop a thumbs up onto the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Whoa.